almost as loud as a chainsaw. Warnings over noise levels on the tube, which experts say could damage hearing. Turning to other news now, and if you regularly use the tube, you might have noticed an increase in the amount of noise in the tunnels from the trains, particularly on the Victoria Line. In fact, experts say it could be damaging commuters' hearing. The unions say it's the worst it's ever been and that drivers are already going slower on some sections to protect their hearing. Our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards, has more. Welcome to the Victoria Line, one of London's noisiest. We measured the noise levels this morning and found they regularly go above 100 decibels and can reach the same level as a chainsaw. Here on the Victoria Line, it's very, very loud. Look at the metre, 109 decibels. Bear in mind the safe limit is deemed to be under 70. Five years ago, BBC London also measured the noise levels. Experts then said they could be damaging. Now, drivers say it's worse. The noisiest section now is southbound between Finsbury Park and Highbury and Islington. A lot of it is about money, but it's also about priorities. Once you've decided this is really the issue you're going to face, then actually you can get the money there. Now, Sadiq Khan was really clear with the Conservative government that he needed more money to tackle it, to do things like deep tube reconditioning. This is really, really important. I want to know what he's going to do now we have a Labour government. Is he going to put the same challenges on them that he rightly put on the Conservative administration? The train drivers' union say the noise in the cab is much worse than it is in the carriage, and they now want Transport for London to do something about it. The union says some drivers are already reducing speed to protect their hearing and the budget to grind the rails that reduces noise has been reduced since 2019. It is very bad. On the Victoria Line, London Underground have now admitted it exceeds the legal limit that people should deal with during a working shift, and they've had to issue ear defenders to drivers. But that's simply a sticking plaster. The underlying problem needs to be dealt with. And at the base of the issue, is a lack of investment in maintenance. Strike action isn't being ruled out by drivers. We showed our findings to a noise expert. Is that going to be damaging then, 115 decibels? What's your opinion on that? So um, it, it can be. For really short periods of time, a level of 115 decibels can cause pain for some people. And we'd say if you start to experience pain when you're exposed, exposed to a loud sound, that you really should leave that area immediately because it can be really dangerous. TfL says it has put plans in place to address the issues through improvements to infrastructure and it says it does everything it can to make sure the tube is safe and welcoming. At the moment though, commuters and drivers are going to have to put up with this. Tom Edwards, BBC London.